Hello and welcome to Heart of the Matter. I'm Angelina and I'm still in Toronto, here with the one and only The Amazing Lynx, founding member of Random Order, singer-songwriter and a huge advocate for transgender rights. Welcome Lynx. Thank you Angelina, it's great to see you again. I know, so we met in 20... 14? I think so. 2014, when I was here last time, and you know, we just hit it off. We met at a cafe and we got talking about our music, and that was the connection instantly. We're like, oh my gosh, you know, show me, you know, get on YouTube and, you know, started subscribing to each other's channels. That's right. And since then, you have just exploded. Let's, I don't even know where to start. Shall we start with your, your amazing hit, Black oh, Lipstick, li beg your pardon, <laughs> Black Lipstick Kiss? Congratulations on Thank all that you. success. Thank you so much, yes. That that song is, uh, you know, got me all over the world, really. I, didn't you, know. you just get back from Budapest? I did, Thanks. I did, I did, yes. Okay, so tell me how it all began. So it was entered into a film festival as part of the movie. Um, I, what I did was I entered, someone, actually a journalist from, I think Canada, but I think she lives in Australia. Right, right. Uh, for Rhythms Magazine, she works for Rhythms Magazine. Um, and she said, oh, you should submit your video to this uh, Write Out TV and Music Awards, and they're based out of Vancouver, mm -hmm. and it got nominated uh, oh, for wow. Best DIY, and then it was brought to the attention of a director who was also a juror, uh, judge in another category, oh, um, and uh, the person that recommended the song said to her, you know, this song would be perfect for your film. And so then she contacted me and we went from there and I said yes. And I went to LA for the premiere and met the director. And How amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I was at the Director's Guild of America. Oh my gosh, yeah. Lynx. Yeah. It really just seemed to take on its own organic, it natural did. path, don't you think? It did, it really it did. Snowball. It snowballed because what happened was um, it, it came to Canada and it, it uh, screened in uh, Kingston mm -hmm. and I contacted the director there and I said hey you know I'm, I'm my song is featured in the film uh, would you be interested in having me come and perform and he said yes and so this was also the beginning of my solo adventure of yes. touring with the film um, so then I sent the director a message and said hey send me wherever the film goes to and I'll you know if I can I'll, I'll go and I'll, I'll do it and Absolutely. Um, so it ended up that she would go to some places and I would be going to the others it just worked out that way and that film toured for two years as an indie film that's two unusual, years. Really unusual. I mean, it's normally one year that's I'm right. six months in with my documentary now and I'm I'm now looking at distribution that's options that's right but uh, I'm thinking a year for myself, but two, that's, that's how successful it was. Yes, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. It won nine awards, including an award for best original song out of Germany, which I was like so ecstatic. You, you know, have a huge following in Europe, I have to say. I, yeah, Europe, Europe They're is, one of your biggest markets, aren't they? They are, and it's. I've been there, like, I toured with a previous album there as well, and, mm -hmm. you know, we keep getting back to ask, uh, coming back for these festivals, and, yeah, 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 it's really good, yeah. I love how musicians and art can have a certain... It can resonate in certain parts of the mm -hmm. world too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for example, as you say, like Europe have really embraced you, and you just got back from Budapest as That's well. Right, yeah, so I, tell me about that trip. Oh my God, that was amazing. So, yeah. so the, again, as a result of the film, mm -hmm. because they're they're all connected. You know, the the people that work in the film and they work in the music, doing events, they all know each other, right? In a right. In, a, in a community, and um, so I had messaged the uh, Budapest. Pride Festival, mm -hmm. and they said, we love your music, we want you to come and headline, and I was like, I'm there. Yeah, like, yeah. what date do I need to be in town? I'm there. So I went. Exactly. I went for <laughs> for just that show, mm -hmm. but I decided to book two weeks to go, and I ended up performing five times. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been amazing. And, and I ended up speaking at uh, one of the events, one of the associated events was called the Rainbow Conference. Mm -hmm. And it was from, uh, uh, about Nordic culture and European culture in, in the, the history of LGBTQ, right? It's artists, musicians, okay. poets, everything. And so I really wanted to go to this because I thought, well, this sounds really interesting. I can go 
you know, check this out. And as soon as I walked in, yeah. they were so nice and they said, introduce oh. yourself. So I, you know, I did, and they're like, "Oh, you're Canadian. That's fantastic!" And and you'd be embraced for that too. Everybody oh loves Canadians. Oh my God! And then I told them about, you know, why I was there. I was there right. to perform, and I and it was because of this film. Mm -hmm. So this conference was a two-day conference, and then the next the next day I I ended up going as well, and and being invited to speak to actually speak about being uh, one of the first people in the trans march in Toronto, which mm -hmm. was uh, first started in 2009, wow. and it was illegal. It was considered an illegal march, um, and it, it remained That's illegal terrible. for a few years, yeah. And so there was like six of us that just did it, and we were like, yeah, this is who we are, and we're gonna do this, and we should be able to do this within the pride community, right? So, so it was a really big so deal. So brave of you, though, Thank Lex. You. I mean, it's mind-blowing to me to think that it was illegal. Well, I mean, they were shocked. this time in this day and age, are we still there, you guys? Yeah, like, I come know, right? on, like, can't we all be ourselves? Exactly. Why do we have to be fighting for these rights? Yeah, yeah. But how do you think? How far have we come in, in these like last, you know, say well, five, think, six years? I think really far. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, like in terms of. Uh, what's happening with the backlash of politics mm -hmm. in some countries, right. that doesn't surprise me. I, I knew that that was gonna happen mm -hmm. like a really long time ago. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at Berlin and, and what happened with that situation, it was very similar, right? Mm -hmm. it, it was like a real free society and then all of a sudden, bam, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody else needs to come in and do something different. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, it was, I, I think we've come a long way and at the same time, there's still a lot of work that has to be done. And I don't even know if I would call it work, uh, just education, you know? Yeah, I was going to ask you, what do you think the key elements are? Because at the end of the day, it's fear that divides all of us, yes. right? It's fear. A, see, a fear of the unknown, fear of something that we don't understand or someone's it. different. Instead of just celebrating our diversity yes, and right. letting us all be who we are, who we are. we're all beautiful no matter what we do or how we express ourselves. Um, That's right. So what do you think the key elements are? I think I think one oh. of the key elements is, is to actually um, try to find the common ground with people. Mm. Like, what do you have in common? And, and, you know, and I think that's just inherent. Yes. You know, like, people want to know things. You know, they want to, like, I can start up a conversation with just about anybody. And, you know, I can figure out in two minutes or less what we have in common. And then we talk about that. And as soon as they try to start talking about something else, I just shift the subject, right? It's it's like, I'm not, I just met you, I'm not talking to you about that, we're gonna mm -hmm. talk about this, right? Yeah. And, you yeah. know, and I think as far as just on a day-to-day on a -day basis, that's how I roll, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I travel all over the world and it's the same thing, right? Yeah. Everywhere. What's the same as me? I think when you have traveled as well and you've met people from all walks of life, and that is, um, the crux of my show is celebrating all of us. Yes. Um, all walks of life, all cultures, all age groups, all exactly. different looking people, you know, everybody has something beautiful about themselves. Right, yes. And Absolutely. celebrating the uniqueness. Yes. Um, and, and the differences, but at the end of the day, we are all, we're more similar than when, when, than when different. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. We're all human beings, and, right? And, you know, on a journey, on a special journey exactly. here on this planet. And exactly. we should respect each other. And it's not to say that we shouldn't be, um, you know, looking at the issues and, and trying to solve them. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer to, you know, come up with solutions mm -hmm. rather than, you know, dwell on the problems. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's, you know, it's, you know, it's like, uh, well, for instance, every year I do a performance at City Hall in Toronto mm -hmm. for the Trans Day of Remembrance Memorial. And that was just a couple of weeks ago, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. How did, how did that go? Oh, it's amazing. It's totally amazing. It's yeah. just to, you know, acknowledge, you know, they list, they show all the names of the people who have been murdered and, mm -hmm. you know, all, you know, it's like, it's a moment of silence and, you know, reflection. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's really good because it brings the, the politicians come and do, give speeches and people from the community and then after that it's a big celebration. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know, you just hit something right there when you said it's political. I mean, I think most of the problems in this world stem from the governments and it's politically <laughs> driven. For example, in Australia, we just had to do a um, voluntary vote. They sent us a ballot paper in the mail wow. and to say whether we think that um, 
gays can get married? Should they legalise it? And I was, all my friends were all just saying, are we really here in 2017? That's bizarre. You sh it, the law should have already been passed. Wow. And it was a big deal. It was all over our I've television. Never heard of this. It's oh, very bizarre. <laughs> it just, well, that, luckily, I can I can actually say that it actually went through as yes. That was yeah, the consensus you, of Australia. Who did they think they were giving the ballots to? Oh I mean, goodness. Did they know that they were giving it to LGBTQs, like as well was, as their allies and as well as people against and for? And do you know what I mean? Like we, that makes no sense. And we had TV commercials like for and against, and it was like you know don't buy into the fear, and you have the right to say no. And I, I just thought in 2017 we're still not as evolved as I would hope that we, right. we, we'd yes. be at at this yes. point in time in history. But the good news is um, things are changing. Yes. I think we're in a time of a revolution. What do you think? I, I absolutely. I yeah. mean, the, the things, the, everything yeah. that's happened in the last few years. Well, I mean, I told you about my remix and why I changed the lyrics. Yeah. And it was because a lot of people were getting really upset about what was happening here in North America. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I, you know, it just made me um, make the song Black Lips to Kiss, you know, it's a little, it has a little dark side. Um, it made me want to restructure it to be more uplifting, so that, that yeah, so that people would feel good, and um, you know, I, I repeat love over and over and over in the song, which isn't in the original, right? And it's, it was solely something that happened organically. Like I didn't think it out ahead of time. I was just like. I really want people to feel good. I want people to get act. I want I want catharsis to happen, and I want to build confidence in people. You're an inspiration, Lynx. Thank I just you. you know, as soon as we met, I just remember thinking you're just such a kind spirit. And the more I've learned about you and and what you're doing, I think you're such a positive role model. You're such an amazing advocate. Um, but as you say, the message at the end of the day is love, yes. unity, unity, harmony, yes. um, and you use your art to shed that light. Exactly. And you, you're, you're inspiring a lot of people. Thank do you know that? I, no, I didn't. Oh, I just do it. I just do what I do, you know. Yeah, but you do you it know? from your heart, and I think yeah, that's I don't why. Really think about it. You know, I, I just I know that I know that if I can help someone, if I can help them with. Uh, you know, a, a health situation, physical, mental, whatever. You know, if, if I have some information or some way of being that I think would help somebody, then I'm going to do it. Like, I'm just going to do it. It's I can't help myself, you know? And I think, honestly, like, you know, there's a lot of people who, who get sucked into, you know, the, 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 the negativity around what's happening. And I say, well, do what you can do. Focus on what you can do. You know, yeah. it's so true. And you have a documentary trip, a little road trip, well, not a little one, a big one planned for Mexico. When are you leaving? Next week. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited about it. I'm, it's my first time to Mexico, oh, wow. and um, I there's a record label there, and uh, we've we met here, and we've been partnered ever since, and uh, so we've been helping each other, and Fabulous. yeah, and so now we're uh, we're gonna do a little road trip together and uh, go around and probably busk and you know do some you know little club shows and some big club shows and. You and know, film the and whole film the whole trip. thing. Yeah, we're gonna film the whole trip from oh. from like the. I'm gonna. The planes, um, the yeah. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> That's the right. Yeah, right from the get go. I love yeah, it. photos, video, and. Are you gonna be shooting a film clip as well? I I think so. Like yeah. it's just gonna be right off the uh, you know the iPhones like down and dirty, right? But don't you love that though? Technology I do. is such a gift I do. now. It's fantastic. Well, it's so be easy. Self sufficient. I yeah. bought myself my first yeah. ever selfie stick. This trip, <laughs> this trip, my friend back in Sydney said, you've got one, don't you? And I said, no. And she um, goes, you have to. You have to. You yeah. cannot well, go without one. You taught me how to work it because oh, it's I, I just got one too. Did so, you? Yeah. So remember I asked her, I said, I didn't, never knew what that button Same. was Same. I didn't know how, yeah, me too. I was a little bit <laughs> selfie stick illiterate, but now I'm on top of it. <laughs> selfie stick illiterate. I like that. <laughs> no, well, you've got to pack that in your suitcase. It's in already. I'm already. I've already got it in. I've been starting, I've been packing since last week. Love yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, you should be, and all your fans are going to be able to connect. You're going to be posting live, like Facebook oh, yeah. feeds, and definitely, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep everyone yeah. in the loop of what's going Just on. Keep it going, yeah, well, yeah. It sounds keep like it going. you're going to end this year on a high. I am. By the sounds I of am. it, and and I'm fully confident that next year's going to be even better. 
I've got the and same feeling. Yeah, and last two years have been great. This year's been amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But I feel like... I know, you're. I, I was so happy to see your film oh, winning awards. And thank it's, you, Liz. It's important. It's important stuff. Well, it's funny because I just never would have thought that it would happen. That's right. Like, just I do think it. That's the, best, that's the best surprise, too. Well, I can't wait to see it. Oh, I can't wait to share it. <laughs> I'd also like to acknowledge that we're doing this in Duff's Tavern. They've yes. kindly led us to... Um, use the space I know all the staff here are beautiful yeah and so kind yeah, as you say yeah. that they've let us they have this us this have time this here yeah, for the interview and they so. make I have to say the best wings that I've ever had in well, Toronto famous. So, yeah it's Duff's famous wings Duff's famous <laughs> so everybody that comes to Toronto you have to come to Duff's and the film that my song is in is Essen and Sally yes and yep, go check that out where can people see that uh, you can uh, stream it it's uh, mm -hmm. It's all over, really. Like it's yeah. You yeah. just do a Google search. Yeah, and up you it just comes. Google search uh, S and M Sally and. And where can so. everybody find your music? Uh, links? My music also. If you Google the title track "Black Lips to Kiss," yeah, yeah, that'll come up with everything. Oh. I love it. I love your songs. Thank you. What's on your mind as well? They're really like, really catchy. Thank you. And I love the horns, and it's got really good energy. Thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. So what's what's coming up for you? What's apart from this documentary trip? What's next? Uh, more music videos. Yep. Yeah, vampires and zombies. Yeah. Um, yeah, more more songs and film. Yeah. Um, doing some different styles of music, like uh, when when I meet up with uh, in Mexico, mm -hmm. we're gonna do like a little bit of uh, you know some reggaeton over one of my other songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just experimenting. Yeah. yeah. That's the beauty of Traveling too is that you, you do get new inspirations from different locations. Exactly. And that's, and I'm, as an artist, that's what you want. That's yeah. gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm super just stoked. Do, do what you love to do. Like, I think that's the important thing. I, I think if you can figure out even the smallest things you love to do, whatever makes you feel good and happy, that's what you should do, mm -hmm. you know, on a daily basis if you can. 100% agree. It is it is about doing something that makes your heart sing, literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I know we were just saying before we started rolling the cameras that a lot of people get into the arts and the industry for the wrong reasons right, yes. and they be become bitter and disillusioned and I think it's important if you don't love what you're doing yeah, yeah. then every day is going to be an uphill battle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lynx, for your time. Thank you. It's lovely to see you again. And wishing you continued success. Likewise. Good luck on this road trip. I can't wait to see the documentary. Oh, I can't wait to see your sequel. Oh, thank oh, you. This sequel, I guess. Yeah, this one. <laughs> this one and looking here. forward to more new, amazing songs from you. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you, Lynx. Take care.